Hey friends, thanks for joining me. Today we have our 16th story of our Jesse tree. In fact, today's 16th story is connected to yesterday's 15th story and tomorrow's 17th story, 15, 16, 17. In today's story, the prophet Samuel, whom we read about yesterday, has grown old but has been given a very special task by God to go and choose a new great king from among the sons of one man living in Bethlehem. This man's name is Jesse, and he is the namesake of our Jesse tree because he is one of the ancestors of Jesus. Take a look at today's story. David is chosen from the Spark Storybook Bible. God said to Samuel, I have a job for you. I want you to anoint a new king. Here is what you need to do. Bring a horn filled with oil to Bethlehem and look for Jesse and all his sons. One of his sons will be the next king. Samuel was afraid that God's job for him was too scary. The old king was still around, and he was a very mean guy. But God promised Samuel, I'll help you. So Samuel walked to Bethlehem and found Jesse. Line up all your sons and let's see who will be the next king, Samuel said to Jesse. Samuel looked at the first son, Eliab, and felt sure God would choose him to be king. Eliab was big and good looking, but God disagreed. Samuel was looking at the outside of Eliab, seeing how strong he looked, but God was looking on the inside and did not see the right love in Eliab's heart. One by one, the sons came forward to see if they would be chosen. This one? Nope, sorry. This one? Uh, no. How about this one? Don't think so. Finally, they ran out of sons. Except for one, that is. Jesse's son, David, was outside watching the sheep. They called for him. David came inside. He smelled a little bit like sheep, but his eyes sparkled with joy and love. David was just a boy, gentle and quiet. Samuel tried to see David from outside and inside. This one? A hush fell over the room as everyone waited. Yes, God told Samuel. Yes, Samuel told everyone, and Samuel poured oil from the horn onto David's head, anointing him with God's love and joy. David would be the next king. If you would like to practice anointing someone, use some cooking oil with your grown-up's permission and draw a cross on the forehead of your family members to anoint them just like Samuel anointed David, and just as our priests do during your baptism. If you'd like to do it like we do in Sunday school, olive oil would be best. Isn't it interesting how God often chooses his greatest helpers, his greatest rulers, from among the people you would least expect? A young shepherd boy, a baby born in a barn. Friends, here is our ornament for Jesse. Actually a picture of a sheep and a shepherd's staff like his young son, David. Tomorrow, we'll hear more of the story of this special family when we learn about David. But for now, friends, let us pray. God, we thank you for choosing each one of us to be your children, just as you chose the small shepherd boy, David, to be a great king. Thank you for filling us with your Holy Spirit. And God's people said, Amen.
Thanks for joining me, friends. I'll see you again tomorrow for the story of David. Bye-bye.